endovascular septotomy and urgent EVAR in a rapidly expanding symptomatic AAA. A 52-year-old morbidly obese paraplegic man with COPD underwent a T-VAR and left common iliac stent two years ago for a type B aortic dissection with malperfusion. He now presents to the emergency department with one month history of worsening abdominal pain and is found to have rapidly expanding aneurysmal degeneration of the inferenal aorta to 5.5 centimeters from a normal diameter a year prior. No other intra-abdominal pathology was identified. Because of his comorbidities, we elected to proceed with an endovascular aortic aneurysm repair. The challenge here, however, is the proximal inferenal aorta, where there is a persistent dissection with a compressed true lumen, making for a hostile proximal landing zone for our endograft. To solve this problem, we performed an endovascular septotomy prior to our EVAR. Bilateral common femoral arteries were accessed, and a 20 French sheath was placed into the right growing. Arteriogram was performed through the right femoral sheath. The true and false lumen can be seen in the right common iliac artery. We use CT fusion to identify a fenestration between the true and the false lumen. A steerable sheath was placed with a tip at this fenestration, and a wire was used to gain access into the false lumen, and the wire was advanced proximally into the aorta, as shown here. We then used IVIS to confirm our position. As you can see, we are in the supravisceral aorta. As we pull down, you can see the origin of the SMA here with the dissection. We pull down further, and here we see the left renal artery and vein with our IVIS probe still within the false lumen. As we continue to pull down further, we see the aneurysm here. And finally, we see the crossover as we cross from the false back into the true lumen at the common iliac artery. We then advance a sheath over the wire and shoot through this sheath to confirm our position in the false lumen. A buddy wire is then advanced into the 20 French sheath at the right common femoral artery. The wire is within the true lumen at the common iliac artery but then crosses over to the false lumen as it reaches the suprarenal aorta. Here are the two wires together in the suprarenal aorta within the false lumen. As we pull down the IVIS probe, you can see the wire crosses back into the true lumen at the level of the right renal artery. The wire then continues to be within the true lumen as we proceed inferiorly past the aneurysm and back into the iliac artery. Once confirmed, we advance a six French sheath to secure our access to the lumen. An 014 nitinol wire is advanced through one of the sheets and a snare is advanced through the other. The wire is snared and pulled through as shown here, effectively creating an endovascular giggly saw that will be used to perform the septotomy. The septotomy is performed as a sheath and wire are pulled down in a seesaw fashion. The key here is to pull down one sheath at a time so that the septum is cut and not just torn, which could then cause it to accordion within the aorta. Finally, we'll see the two six French sheaths being brought into the 20 French sheath. Ivis is now used again this time to confirm that the inferenal aorta no longer has a septum. With the septum divided, the inferenal aorta is now one lumen, providing an adequate landing zone for our endograft. Next, a standard EVAR is performed as shown. Completion angiogram shows patent visceral vessels with adequate exclusion of the aneurysm. Postoperative CT shows thrombose false lumen at the visceral segment with adequate apposition of our endograft at the proximal seal zone. The patient was discharged on postoperative day two without complications.